Hey guys, I'm going to share with you today five really quick and easy ways to do a simple bun with your hair from messy styles to more kind of neat styles, but none that take more than a couple of minutes to do. So let's start with number one. Okay, so I'm not gonna use hairspray on my ponytail on my buns today just so I can keep changing the styles for you, but I would recommend using hairspray when you're deciding on the style you wanna do because it's gonna keep all those little flyaways in place. So all you're gonna need to start with is a hair elastic. I recommend using one that's similar to your hair color so it blends in in case you can see it at all. And then I'm using the Denman's brush because I just find the bristles are really, really good for the getting a nice sleek ponytail and then if I was hairspraying my hair because I tend to have like most of us a lot of babies underneath I would grab a little comb like this pull their hair forward and then just brush up all those baby hairs at the bottom into the ponytail as best as possible before tying it off now for the first style we're not going to pull the last a lot of hair through so, so when you've got your hair how you want it in your ponytail if you want to make it more voluminous you can just pull little bits out so I'm gonna do one two and then leave a baby bump halfway through at the bottom so that the hair is then falling forward over my face that's a good look don't worry we're not gonna stop there <laughs> okay and then we're going to, so I've got a little bump there, quite a lot of hair here to play with. And I'm just gonna braid this top section. I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I'm trying to use the camera, which is obviously not the easiest thing to do it in because it's a tiny, tiny screen and you're quite far away and I'm not. Whee. There we go. So you can see all of it. Okay. I am going to put a small clear elastic on the end of this just to hold everything in place. These are brilliant. They come in sets of about, how many's in here? I don't want to say there's like 200 in here. Can't even see anymore, but I've got them on Amazon. I'll link them for you. They're super cheap, super easy to use, and then just throw them away when you're done. And then what I'm going to do is start to pull on these to create some volume. And then from there, I'm going to pull it down over that other bump. So I'm gonna to spin to the back and try not to tie up the microphone too much just so you can kind of see what's going on. So if I have this, and then I'm gonna pull it down and make it, give it as much a body as I can to this braid. And then I'm gonna tuck this braid under my bump. And if you have any loose ends like these, you can pin those all under as well. So what you're trying to do is create that braid over that bun at the back. So these are gonna be the little pins I'm using for this, just to pin that there. And then just kind of pull these down and you can make this as messy or as neat as you want it to be. Yeah, a little bit closer. And then at the front, I'm just gonna neaten that up at the front because I think, I mean, when we're looking, we're gonna see a lot of it from the front. I'm gonna use these for the front just to kind of really anchor that into place. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull that loop there. So you can kind of like create your own little sculptures with this to do it however you want to make it look. So I like that from the front and then from the back, you can just play with it and again, so all of these loose bits, you can just brush and then spray. Now, if they're not staying with the spray, 
great chance to grab a pretty little grip and then place them wherever you need to place them to get all of those baby hairs nice and neat up the back. I'm going to go and check on the back of this and make it all pretty for you and show you the finished result. And then this is going to be the finished look. So I left it quite messy because I didn't do the hairspray and I kind of wanted that kind of messy, easy, a bun look. But you could make this a super neat braid to make it more kind of bridesmaid-like or wedding guest-like or just a nice little date night look. All right, let's move on to bun number two. Okay, second bun, same thing. We're gonna start with just a simple hair elastic and a ponytail. It doesn't matter what height you make your ponytail. You could do this at the base of your neck. You can do it on the top of your head. I'm just trying to do it at the best angle for you to be able to see it from the front. Now I might unclip from the mic for a little bit as well when I spin around to be able to show you the back. Okay, and then again, second little clear elastic. So. The second black band placement on this is everything. You're either gonna have too much hair or not enough. So you need to play around for you between how big a bun you want, how messy you want it, how neat and sleek you want it, how much hair you have, if you've got short, thick, thin hair. So I'm gonna do a mine about here. Um, I might pull it down a bit further, create some more tension. So the more tension you have on it, when you wrap the bun, the neater and tighter it's going to be. You want to split the two ends of the hair and then you can either roll really loosely or roll forwards towards your mirror with more tension on, keeping hold of those two ends of your hair. From here, I have my two ends. I'm going to wrap them around the back. And because I have more, I'm just going to keep wrapping until I'm out of hair and then pin those hairs out of the way. Then I'm going to come in here and start to make with these two ends a full bun. So once I've joined them around the back, this is where you can start pinning and playing and creating the bun shape that you want to create. So I'm using a tight grip for this one just to get it all together in the back and then have a little play so play around with this as you want it to be and when you have it exactly as you want it start pinning just to hold it into place this is probably the quickest and easiest buns of all of them And it really is one of those buns that's brilliant for faking having a ton of hair. And like I say, like you can just literally just play with it, grab it, pull it, do whatever you want to make it the shape you want. It's kind of just a really fun, easy bun to do. Okay, bun number three. You're just gonna split the hair into two sections, give them a good old twist in opposite directions, and then you're going to wrap them and then you're just going to wrap them in opposite directions around each other, tie the ends off with an elastic, and then just give them a bit of a tug to create some more volume and make them a bit fluffier before winding it up into a bun. And then just popping a few pins into the bun to hold everything into place. Okay, let's have a look at bun number four. So you can do a low ponytail, mid ponytail, high. I'm going to do low just so you can see it better. And the last time you pull it through, you just want to pull it half the way through. You're then going to want to fan out the top piece and push it upwards and then just randomly pin it just loosely. It doesn't have to be structured, just to keep it up so it's propped up against the top half of your head to form the top half of the bun. And then for the bottom half, kind of split that into two more halves. You can just wind one piece up and then just easily just slip a pin in there. And then for the last little bit, I'm just winding it round and folding it back into the hair elastic. And that will completely cover up the elastic as well. And then just if you've got any pieces you want to pin up a bit more, just pin them into place so it doesn't fall out and to hold it a bit better. 
last bun is more of a chignon than a bun, so you're going to just start with a low, sleek ponytail, lots of hairspray, and then just grab a small piece of hair and wrap it around the hair elastic to hide that elastic. You're going to want the hair nice and straight and brushed into to keep a nice smooth chignon, and then using two hair elastics, one about halfway down and one about two thirds of the way down to keep all the ends tucked in, and then you're just going to pull the hair up and slowly roll it down to the nape of the neck tucking the hair under as you go before fanning it out to make that kind of half bun chignon shape the first corner is really easy keep pinning underneath and then you'll notice the last side you kind of need to keep rolling the hair under and that last elastic to hide everything and then spritz it with a good dose of hairspray just to get rid of all the baby hairs and fly away so you end up with a nice sleek look so those are the five quick and easy buns. I hope you found one of them that you liked, whether it's a messy bun, a neat bun, the quick and easy chignon that only needs a few pins. These are really, really easy styles you can do every day and it's really great on second day hair rather than freshly washed hair. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will try and answer them if there was something you didn't quite understand in the demonstrations. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe so you catch all of my latest videos.